Welcome to this session friends. In this session we are going to discuss on AWS IAM management using AWS CLI. We already discussed in last video what is AWS IAM, what are the components of IAM. So let's begin a technical session where I will show you a couple of uh, commands to manage IAM using AWS CLI. To begin with I am already logged on to server which we configured in first video as our AWS CLI server. On this server, I have used the keys which we generated for user Yogesh M in a graphical session. Okay, so friends, uh, first thing, let me show you what is the existing configuration. So AWS CLI, that AWS command, I'm using AIEM service here. I'm listing the users which are currently existing, list users. Okay, so right now only one user is there, which is Yogesham. And if you remember this user, we created using graphical interface. In last video, it was created at this time. This is the user ID and uh, this is the ARN or uh, that's a unique reference uh, number for this particular user. Next thing, if we want to list what are the groups existing on this server, AWS IEM list groups. If you remember we created one group system admin and uh, friends uh, if you want to see roles same command just replace group with roles what are the roles on this server so on this server there are this particular role is configured role is role system admin okay so that was the basic commands to list user group and role so let's create one new user i will name it as uh, george or you can uh, name it xyz aws iam create user minus minus user dash name george i'm creating a user now so this user is created if you see this is the output this is the username this is the path this is the creation date this is the user id and this is the rn okay so next thing as graphical using graphical session we generated access key so this user can uh, access to amazon api using command line cli to generate the access keys simply aws iam create access key username george enter it will generate the access keys friends if you see this is the secret access key and this is the access key id so you in my last video on Amazon CLI setup, I already explained how you can configure these keys. So if you have any doubt, you can revisit that video. You can rewatch it and uh, that will be easy. So friends, our user is created. Let me list the users again. Sorry. Okay, I'm listing users again. So now if you see there are two user one is Yogesham one is George okay so I have created a user so next thing let's try to create a new group I already created a group name uh, sysadmins system admin I'm creating a user for developers I'm naming it developer so AWS IAM create group dash dash group dash name the new group name you can name it uh, anything upon your requirement or you can easily identify the group so friends this group is created let me list out the groups now so there should be two groups now one group is system admin one is for developers this group we just created now friends next thing we can do one thing we can add user george in uh, the newly created group uh, developer to do so we have to use again IAM module or service commands so command is AWS IAM add user to group username which user to which group group name developers so pressing enter here so friends this user is added to this particular group okay now next thing friends uh, if you remember in graphical session I talked about policies so policies like what level of access you want to give to this particular users so here first thing how to list out the policies what policies are available on this server to do so friends aws iam list policies 
And friends, there are uh, three scope of policies. Uh, one is all, one is AWS, one is uh, like your customized one. So I'm listing here AWS policies, dash dash scope, AWS, pressing enter, or I will more it because there are multiple policies. If you see, these are the policies. This is direct connect policy read-only access, and this is for Galatia read-only access. This is for marketplace full access. And friends, these are multiple policies available. These are Amazon created policies. This this is a policy Amazon EC2 full access. To my developer team, I'm just pressing control C. I don't want to list all policies. So these are the policies uh, depending upon your requirement or what level of access you want to give to your user or group, you can select the policy. Here to my developer team, because we are in DevOps culture, I want my developer team to shut down or restart or any kind of activity on EC2 instances, they can perform that level of access I want to give them because we are in DevOps culture. So I will do one thing. I will attach this policy to my developer group. So all users who are part of developer group will get that policy. So AWS IAM attached group policy, policy, and this is the policy name friends, Amazon EC2 full access. To which group I am allocating, dash dash group dash name, developers. And this is the policy which I am going to use this one. You can attach multiple policies to a group. That's up to you. But I'm here I'm attaching single policy for EC2 service. And uh, you can attach S3 policy or uh, your Lambda policy, depending upon your friends. Pressing enter. Okay, friends, so policy is attached. How can I confirm whether policy got attached or not? To do so, I have to run AWS IAM list attached group policies to which group to group name. Here I'm typing developer group name, pressing enter. So it's developers, no developer. If you see to this particular group developers, the policy is attached e Amazon EC2 full access. So whoever part of developer group can do any activity related to EC2, like they can launch new instances, they can terminate instances, they can power off instances, they can power up instances. So all the rights I have gave to my developer. So friends, uh, that's a way to create, uh, to attach a policy. Okay. So next thing friends, uh, how like we can create a role to create a role uh, that is basically JSON format file we have to input our data so let me show you i have just created this file what it means this is the version you can change it to your current date this is a statement like what user can do effect mean allow what is allowed to the user they can use service ec2 amazon aws.com and action that status is assumable role so uh, that's a friend uh, what uh, the troll can do okay now let's create a new role using this particular policy here to create role aws iam create role role name i'm typing it uh, test role you can name it uh, as per your requirement or customization and uh, then assume policy document so because uh, see sorry I copy paste the wrong thing. This is the role name and here assume role policy document. This is the document. I have copied this document in my current directory in my root directory. So I'm pressing enter here now. You can see this role is created and these are the role definition and statements. This is the role name. And to list out roles, friends, what all roles are on this system, AWS, IEM, list roles. Okay, so these are all roles available on this system. And uh, let's say you want to delete a role. I want to delete this test role. How I can delete it? To delete it, AWS, IEM, delete, sorry, there is space between, delete, roles sorry role dash dash role dash name then followed by a role name this is the role name i want to delete pressing enter so this role is deleted and similar way friends if you want to 
create a dummy user. Let me show you. I will create a dummy user here. User dash name and just dummy user. Okay, I've just created a dummy user. I will show you how can I delete it. And I'm creating a new group, uh, create group. Dummy group. Okay, I have created two, sorry, what's an error? Sorry friends, here it's group name. Group name, it should work now. So I have created one dummy user, one dummy group. If you want to delete them, AWS IAM delete group dash dash group dash name then the group name which you want to delete it enter when you want to delete a user delete user followed by dash dash user dash name then your username dummy user So this user got deleted. Friends, in this way, you can uh, manage uh, IAM user group policies using command line interface. There are multiple options available, but I have explained a couple of basic steps so you can get familiarized with uh, using IAM through command line interface because command line, if you can see, that's easy. And on enterprise setup, I believe uh, most of the admins are using command line interface only. So thanks friends for watching this video. If you have any query or any suggestion, just leave a comment on my YouTube channel. If you like this video, click like button. If you want to, to get latest update on uh, my new YouTube videos, just subscribe to my channel. Thanks friends.